Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how to create smooth mask reveal animation in After Effects. You can use this technique to reveal your text or your logo, whatever you want. This is very easy to create. So before we begin, if you are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, create a new comp and let's call this animation. And width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can go with 60 FPS if you want extra smoothness. But for this one I'm going to stick with 30. And duration let's say 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to add a solid. So go to layer, new solid and you can choose it whatever color you want. I'm going to apply effect called fill. So I'm using this extension called console FX from video copilot. It is free and you can download it from videocopilot.net. So I'm going to just create a little bit of white color. Now let's create a line. So in order to do that, just simply click on the pen tool and you can just draw a slanted line, something like this. And you can play around with its stroke. You can just increase it or decrease it however you want and just place it in the center of this composition something like this so now i'm going to add our text so in order to do that just click on the text tool and also if you want you can just simply select the line and you can select its endpoint and you can extend it however you want if you want to make it longer or shorter whatever you want so now let's add our text so select the text tool and you can click and type whatever you want i'm going to type motion and i'm using this gotham ultra font you can use whatever font you want again just center it out if you're not able to see the align panel you can go to windows and from here you can enable it by clicking this and now you can probably select it and if you want you can scale it something like let's say 140 like this now you can select it and press ctrl d to duplicate it and now i'm going to type my second text so now we have our text and before i do any kind of animation i'm quickly going to just pre-compose these and let's call this text one just click on ok and pre-compose it to text two you can add multiple text you want if you have three words you can just type another text and just pre-compose it but for this one we are going to use only two so now i'm going to select both of them and hide them using this eye icon and we are going to focus on this so in order to animate it i'm going to just quickly drop down and add a trim path property like this and under the trim path i'm going to set both the start and end value to 50 like this and if you click on the stopwatch you can add a keyframe and now let's move something around one second and just set the top value to 100 and the bottom value to zero so now you can see we have this kind of animation and again if you want you can select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them then you can go into the graph editor by clicking over here and if your graph looks different then make sure that you are in edit speed graph and now we can select the endpoints and just turn your graph to look something like this. So now if I play back here you can see we have this kind of animation. And now we are ready to animate it. So in order to animate it I am going to select it and just move it to this side. Just like this and I am going to enable my text so you can make sure that this is outside the text. If your text is long then you can move it further something like this but for this one i think this looks good and again i'm going to disable the text now i'm going to select the layer and press p on the keyboard for position and add a keyframe now i can just simply move it around here and just move it somewhere around here just like this so now you can see we have this kind of animation but we want our line to reveal first so i can select the layer press u on the keyboard and i can just simply select the position keyframe and just move them out so that we have this kind of animation and now i'm going to select these keyframes then press f9 
and you can go under the graph and again make sure that your graph looks something like this so now you can see we have created this kind of animation and again if you want the line to be thicker you can just simply increase the stroke let's go with 15 or maybe something around 12 yeah this looks good so we have this kind of animation again we want the line to go back so we can just probably move around here and you can just simply copy this keyframe and just paste it so now you can see we have this kind of animation and you can select these keyframes then go to the graph editor and we are going to tweak it so that your curve looks something like this so now you can see we have this kind of animation now you can copy these keyframes by pressing ctrl c and you can just simply paste it around here and you can just simply right click and go to keyframe assistant and just time reverse layer and now you can see we have created this kind of animation so this looks good so our next step is to reveal the text so in order to do that we are going to use the mask so first i'm going to enable the text so we have this motion text and i'm going to add a mask so select the layer and you can just click on the pen tool now i'm going to draw a rough mask somewhere around here just like this and make sure that it is outside the text so that none of the text is visible now you can select the layer and press m to reveal the mask and i'm going to move the timeline pointer to somewhere around here also if you want you can just simply rotate the line something like this yeah this looks good and again i'm going to select the mask and i'm going to quickly just match these two endpoints so that these align with the line something like this and now i'm going to add a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch and now you can move around by simply pressing the page down key so it will move a single frame and also you can select these only these two endpoints like this and hold down the shift key so you can select this one and now you can simply press the page down key and you can move your mask by using the arrow keys so that our mask is completely following the line and just keep on doing it for every frame just like this so i'm pressing the page down key to move one frame ahead and then i'm using the arrow keys to adjust my mask so just keep on doing it until your full text is revealed so now you can see we have created this kind of animation and if i play back here you can see now our text is revealing and our next step is to do the same thing but on the second text so in order to do that i'm going to first animate this text so that it goes back to where it started so in order to do that i'm going to add another keyframe and just make sure that these endpoints are selected and align with this and here you can see we have the keyframe again i'm pressing the page down key to move one frame ahead and just using the arrow keys to match the mask just like this so now you can see we have created this kind of animation so a text comes and then it goes back so we have to do the same thing for the second text but we are going to use a simple trick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply copy these keyframes by pressing ctrl c and i can select the text too and then press ctrl v to paste them so now you can see we have the same animation on both the text but we want the second text to be revealed later on so in order to do that you can just simply go under the mask and from here you can change it from add to subtract so now you can see we have this kind of animation which is exactly what we want but we don't want our text to be appear in the starting so we can just simply trim the layer just like this so now you can see our text is revealing only in the second part so here you can see we have created our animation so this is how you can create your smooth mask reveal animation and again if you want to change the text you can just simply go into the composition and from here you can just simply type whatever text you want and it will update and if i go back here you can see we have changed our text 
and again if you want to add some 3d shadow to it you can just simply all the layers except the background layer and just right click and click on pre-compose and from here you can type text animation just click on ok and here you can see we have a single composition so now I can select it and press ctrl D to duplicate it and I can make it 3d and if you select the layer you can press R on the keyboard and from here you can just simply rotate the layer however you want so just rotate it something like 80 or 85 just like this now you can select the Z point and just move the layer a little bit down something like this and you can probably change its position just like this so now you can see we have this kind of animation so now to make it shadow you can apply a simple effect called Gaussian blur just apply it and you can increase the blur amount quite a bit something like this now you can see that it's really dark so you can select the layer press T and just lower down its opacity something like this yeah, so now you can see we have added some really nice shadow to our text and again if you want you can also add your logo you can just go to the composition and you can just drag your logo if you want and you can just probably scale it down something like this and if I go back here you can see we have also added our logo now let me show you how you can invert the colors so in order to do that you can just create a new adjustment layer and on this one just apply a effect called invert and now you can see we have created the same animation but with different colors so if you want you can go with this look or you can just simply disable it and you can have this black and white look so this is how you can create this type of animation also if you have multiple words you can just simply animate the line back to this point again and just simply do the mask thing and you can add as many words as you want so I hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this one are available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because it helped me to create more content for you guys. Also, you will get extra templates that are available every week. So that's it for this video. And if you haven't subscribed, then make sure to do that. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.